It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 3rd of March. I'm Michael Groff. Another dry and warm day here in the valley, but we will see an increase in clouds, and that is a sign of things to come as the weather pattern really starts to change by tomorrow. A cold front will move across the area, and that will bring about an increase in wind, as well as scattered rain and snow showers for central and northern Arizona, a possibility we could see just a little bit of rain here in the valley as well, not only tomorrow, but as we head into Saturday. But the big story will be the much cooler temperatures that we will see. Readings about 20 to 25 degrees cooler in some spots than what we are seeing today. All right, let's talk about it first. Looking at the almanac from yesterday, 87 degrees, a warm afternoon high, the warmest temperature we've had so far this year. The morning low, 52, the normal high, 74, and the normal low, 52. And taking a look outside right now at 10.50 a.m., scattered clouds across the valley, and we are sitting at 73 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 28, relative humidity 19%. The winds are light, and the barometer is steady. And the weather pattern is starting to change. Our ridge of high pressure that's been around here for the last few days is now scooting off to the east, and there you see our next weather maker. It's on the way, that trough to the west of us. And that will move in here tonight and tomorrow. Already, we're starting to see an increase in clouds out ahead of it. The watch warning map is fairly quiet. We do have some red flag warnings across southeast Arizona, southwest and south central New Mexico. The winds will be increasing. And with that very dry air around, the risk of wildfires is there. Elsewhere, some winter weather advisories over the Sierra and up north over sections of Montana. The convective outlook for today, no organized areas of severe weather anywhere across the contiguous United States. A little bit of thunder possible along the Southern California coast. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through next Thursday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix, maybe a few hundredths of an inch. A bit more up north across north central northwest Arizona, the northwest plateau. Some rain, some high elevation snow possible with this system coming in here tomorrow and Saturday. And we'll talk about that and those cooler temperatures and everything else going on as well as we get to the models. Have a look at things. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run. This is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Ridging moving off to the east. A trough approaching us from the west. That southwesterly flow out ahead of it. Clouds on the increase, so down at the surface. Yes, uh, mostly sunny this morning, partly sunny by this afternoon. And high temperatures still very warm. We should be in the mid-80s. We're going for a high of 87 degrees here in Phoenix. The hot, hottest desert spots of southwest Arizona may get pretty close to 90. Tonight, partly cloudy overnight lows in the 50s. And then tomorrow, here comes our cold front. We start the day out mostly sunny, but the front should move through the Phoenix area right around noontime, maybe a little afternoon. And so a few showers along the front, but then that colder, more unstable air comes in behind this system. So we'll see scattered showers across central and northern Arizona including here in Phoenix. But even if we were to see rain, the key words are scattered and light. So, yeah, if you have any outdoor activities planned for tomorrow afternoon, don't cancel them by any means, but you might have to dodge a few raindrops. So be aware of that and high temperatures tomorrow. We may actually see our high occur around midnight and then readings could go the wrong way, especially after that front comes through. So it may drop into the 50s or low 60s by tomorrow afternoon. But the high temperature may actually be around 70. And again, that could occur around midnight. All right, Saturday, we have another little area of low pressure that will follow in behind this system. So again, scattered rain and snow showers across northern Arizona, widely scattered rain showers here across uh, the south central deserts, including Phoenix. So again, not going to be a washout or anything like that, but a few showers are possible on and off through the day on Saturday. And uh, another cool day with high temperatures probably only getting into the mid-60s. Then that'll start to move out of here by Sunday. Still a few showers in eastern Arizona here in Phoenix. We turn partly to mostly sunny and high temperatures only in the low to mid-60s. This is likely the coolest day of the forecast period. Some recent model runs and some of our ensemble guidance shows the next system coming in here Sunday, Sunday night could be a little bit stronger and might even touch off a couple of showers, but I doubt that at this point. It looks like just kind of a cool day. Then Monday, high temperatures back toward the mid-60s, the sky mostly sunny. We're in the upper 60s to near 70 on Tuesday, and then sunny sky on Wednesday with high temperatures in the low to mid-70s, pretty close to seasonal averages. All right, here's a week from today. This is Thursday, the 10th of March. We've got a trough out over the nation's midsection, a dry northwesterly flow on the backside of that here in Phoenix. So that looks uh, dry and seasonal. 
And then going out 10 days, this is Saturday, the 12th of March, ridging building in from the west. It looks like a little weak low underneath it, moving our direction. But even if that verifies, maybe just some high clouds coming through and temperatures at or a little bit above normal. Looking at rainfall for Phoenix, this is going out through the 17th of March, coming off of the GFS Ensemble. Just about every member does show some extremely light precipitation around here. But again, the Ensemble mean is under one-tenth of an inch. And after tomorrow or maybe Saturday, the Ensemble guidance shows very dry conditions thereafter, continuing for the next couple of weeks. And temperatures off the National Blend of Models, a warm one today, but then... Highs going below normal through the weekend and into early next week before some recovery in temperatures is likely thereafter. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And as always, I encourage you to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX. And for those of you that love music, and who doesn't, you'll get plenty of it over there. We play virtually everything. It's myself and, more importantly, the one and only Michelle involved in the creation and operation of that entity. So do check it out. I leave a link to it in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. Be safe, stay cool out there today, and have yourselves an amazing Thursday.